Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to do this insanely sick Luma transition effect. I built two plugins for you. One of them is the particles, the other one is this transition that I'm gonna show you how to make today. You can get them down linked in the description. And with that said, I also have a Black Friday sale for my entire online store where you can get 50% off. So make sure to check that out. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is find the two clips you wanna do the transition on. Come up here to the left-hand side under the effects and click on the cross dissolve and just add it to the two clips. Right click on the cross dissolve and select convert to fusion cross dissolve. Right click on the transition again and open in Fusion page. So what we can do is drag the media in one up here, keep the media in two down below. Let's go ahead and delete the cross dissolve. Click on the media in two and let's add a merge node. Then connect the media in one to the merge node. Connect the merge node to the media out. With the media in one selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and add a Luma keyer. With the Luma keyer selected, come up here and turn it all the way down. Then right click on the little circle that represents the high side, scroll down to modify with anim curves. Do the exact same thing for the first little circle icon, modify with anim curves. Then come up here to the right hand side where it says modifiers, click on it and under the first curve, click on the drop down and select easing. Then for your in and out points of the high side, you can modify them to have a nice sine wave ease in and out. You can do the same thing for the low end, so the low darker points of the video. Select linear, select easing, select sine, select sine. You also wanna keep the source at transition. That allows us to adjust the transition as long as we want, and it will do that same exact effect over the entire length of that transition. Then with the Luma here selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in displace. Find the displace node and add it. Then click outside of the node tree, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in fast noise. Add the fast noise node. Connect the fast noise to the displace. Then click on the displace node, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in soft and add the soft glow. With the merge node selected, go ahead and add another merge node. Drag the output of the Luma here and add it to the merge node. Go ahead and select the soft glow and on the right hand side under the color scale, click on the drop down arrow and add the color of the glow that you want. You can also adjust the threshold and the gain. Now with the displace node selected, come over here to the right hand side under refraction strength and go ahead and turn it up just a little bit. With the fast noise node selected, you can turn up the contrast and also turn up the scale. And this is where you can get some really cool looking glow morph atomic effects. You can also turn up the seethe rate so it will move throughout the transition. Really cool. Now, if you want to invert the Luma fade, so if you don't want the darker points to go first, you can select the Luma here, come over here to invert, select invert. But you have one problem. Now it's actually playing the first clip and fading in. So it's kind of backwards. So you have to make sure if you invert the Luma here, you have to come up here to the right hand side under the modifiers and invert each of the anim curves that we created earlier in the video. So now it should do the bright points first. I'm gonna come over here to the effects and over here on the left hand side, once you install by double clicking the file, once you download it from my site, you can come over here to the left hand side and you will see particle glow. You can drag the particle glow transition plugin over the two clips you wanna do the effect on. Now what's really awesome about this plugin is it's fully customizable and you can invert the Luma just like I showed you in the tutorial. So if you want to invert the Luma so it goes brighter first, you can just check all three of these. This actually works the same on the other plugin as well, the Atomic Luma Glow. Over here on the right hand side, you have a ton of parameters. This looks overwhelming, but it's actually really simple. You have particle adjustments. You can have up to 1600 particles or you can turn it down. So if you don't wanna have a crazy amount of particles, you don't have to. You can adjust the lifespan of the particles. So if you want them to stay on the screen longer, you can do that. You have position variance, so you can have as much variety in the position that you want. You can have velocity, so if you want it to be turned up quite a bit, you can do that. You can have the particles fade off the screen pretty quickly, and you can adjust the angle of those depending on the direction you turn this angle here. You can also change the angle variance. It's fully customizable. If you don't want the particles to go any direction off the screen, you can simply just turn down the velocity, and they'll just disintegrate into thin air. 
you can also change the particle color. You have a bunch of other particle adjustments, but now this is where it gets really fun and customizable. You can adjust the glow for the background, for example. So if you want to come down here to background hue, you can change the color to whatever you want. And then also you have the option to adjust the foreground color. So there's a little bit of effects going on on this clip here as it transitions. And that's all done in the foreground. So if you want to change the foreground hue, you can change that just like that. So as you can see, now the glow is transitioning from green, the particles are blue, and the background is orange. The Atomic Luma Fade is basically the, exactly what I just showed you, but it's just way quicker to be able to just come in here and adjust everything that you want to do and not have to worry about going into Fusion and making your adjustments there. This is just fully customizable, super quick and easy, and it comes out with a really awesome result.